What about your own personal journey? As I say, I, I first knew you when you were in the leadership of BP as well. That ended in 2007, not in circumstances of your choosing as well. It's been quite a journey for you, but how have you evolved personally throughout that period and to who you are now? Well, uh, I, in 2007, I was outed by the Mail on Sunday as gay. And uh, that was a big shock, I think, uh, in the way it was done, not least to me. Uh, so I'd spent uh, getting on for 40 years in the closet. And there were several reasons for that, none of which make any sense nowadays. But, I, you know, as the son of an Auschwitz survivor who said, never tell anyone a secret because they'll use it against you, and never be identified as a strong member of a minority because when the going gets tough, the majority always hurt the minority. That was set me up for the future in the closet. Mm. And, I, and when uh, the male, uh, and I made a whole pile of very bad decisions uh, because as my profile went up, so I had to get deeper into the closet. Mm. Uh, and so I made a relationship with a gay escort who then sold a story to the Mail on Sunday. When asked how I'd met him, I, I told a lie in a witness statement. Uh, so one thing led to the other, it was very It bad. must have been awful, and I remember uh, so, the time. I remember to that, I remember thinking, how have you let this happen, John? You know, I, I remember admiring you at BP in the role you're in, and thinking, it didn't matter to me, it didn't matter know, to a lot of people. No, how but, did that happen, John? But because my, uh, I think what I thought of myself, my head, had been frozen in time, mm. been frozen, you know, in the 60s and 70s, yeah. when it, when 80s even, when it was not acceptable mm. to be gay and in business. And I'd forgotten to see things changing. You know, when I wrote this book, I took it to the Hay Festival, a guy got up in the audience and said, uh, John, you know, uh, look, we always knew you were gay. The only thing was none of us were brave enough to come and tell you you were gay. Yeah. Well, you uh, did and, have and a very omnipotent it. personality, if you don't mind me saying. I know that within BP, people very much respected you, but also didn't want to perhaps cross you. Well, perhaps no one could tell you, John, this is the way forward on this. Well, yes, I, I suppose that's <laughs> right. But it, the good news is uh, it happened, yeah. uh, and uh, I'm actually pleased. Mm. I, it allowed me to start again. Mm. Uh, I resigned from BP and uh, then I started again, uh, and I'm much happier being myself. And you wrote about this extensively, I believe, in 2014, the glass closet and why coming out is good for business. Right. Why is coming out good for business? Well, it's good because it allows people to bring their whole self to work. Mm. Uh, they don't have to hide things away, and they can really be parts of teams then. Because whatever you think about work, it is also a social experience, and you bring people together in a team. And if they can be members of a team, they inevitably work better than not. Uh, and evidence shows that you know, performance really matter. Performance is improved when you have teams working by a very significant amount. So it's good, but it's not a universal rule. You can only come out when it's safe to come out. And I would never advocate someone coming out in a regime, for example, where you could risk your life or in an area where it would damage your future prospects. Mm. The big problem in industry at the moment is there are very few role models of CEOs who are out. And if you look at the S&P 500, uh, we all know Tim Cook, but after that, we don't know many people. There aren't many people. And there are nothing, nothing like the. So we've still got a long way to go. Then. Number. We're nowhere near where we need to we be do. on openness. But I'm hopeful that it's getting better. Mm. Uh, people are freer. They don't think it's an issue, and uh, boards of directors becoming less conservative. I think over time. Thank you for watching, and for more from CNBC International, just hit the subscribe button.